Welcome back everybody. So I wanted to do another vinyl update and this time around it's going to be on my Iron Maiden picture disc collection. Um, so if you're not interested in the recent run of Iron Maiden picture discs, um, I suggest you X out because this is literally all it's going to be, just Iron Maiden picture discs. Um, I know a lot of people don't like picture discs and I don't know what to tell you about that. I mean I have a Technics SLB2, I've got a Pioneer receiver and Honestly, a lot of the times I forget that I'm playing a picture disc because on my system I don't I don't really hear the whooshing sound that a lot of people complain about or the you know degradation of the vinyl or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. So, anyways, I really like picture discs because um, I can play them just fine. And here is the first our main picture disc on well rather their first album. Uh, this is a UK pressing. All the UK pressings have these really cool Olby strips on them. And uh, that's why I wanted to really offer the UK pressings because they have the really cool picture discs. Uh, the US pressing had a sticker instead and I wasn't really a big fan of that. So instead I wanted to get the these versions. Um, I'll actually take out the Olby so you guys can see because this is a really cool Olby. Limited edition picture disc, and uh, it's got really cool pictures on there. It's got just pictures of all the picture discs, and there you go. This one, uh, actually, all of them come with printed inner sleeves that have a picture of the band and lyrics on the back. Here is the actual vinyl itself with the running free single artwork. Really, really cool art. And the Prowler single over here. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about the music on these because, you know, if you don't know Iron Maiden by now, I don't know what to tell you. Other than you need to stop this video and, and go listen to them instead. But, yeah, also, I really like the covers because they're nice and glossy. And I really, really like that a lot. So yeah, that's the first Iron Maiden album. Here's the next one. This is Killers. Really cool artwork. And here's the back. Here is the gatefold. And it's got the inner sleeve. This is actually Adrian Smith's first uh, time in Iron Maiden, his debut in Iron Maiden, so for those of you who didn't know, a lot of people are surprised to know that actually. Um, and also, I really like the vinyl of this one. It's got the uh, this artwork here, which I think is Twilight Zone artwork if I'm not mistaken. Um, really, really cool. And this one is Purgatory, which is really, really fantastic. I absolutely adore this picture disc a lot. It's got a really good sound to it and really good music on it as well. So, yeah, that's Iron Maiden Killers. Next up is Number of the Beast which of course is Bruce Dickinson's uh, first time in Iron Maiden, his debut in Iron Maiden. Here's the back. Now I'm actually going to take out the OB for this because uh, I'm going to start taking out the OBs for these actually because I don't want them to interfere with the with the gatefold showing. There you go. Really cool picture of the band there. Uh, printed inner sleeve, picture of the band. I don't really need to say much about this album because, you know, it's a legendary album in heavy metal. And for me, it was the introduction to Iron Maiden that I ever heard, you know, and, um, honestly, like, when I first heard it, I was just absolutely blown away. Like, I was just like, wow, who the hell is this band? And I remember just spinning this constantly, all the time. This is running, uh, um, Run to the Hills artwork which is really really cool and here is Number of the Beast star work so yeah nice colorful 
uh, picture just there. And yeah, not much more to say about it. Number of the Beast, Iron Maiden. Hell yeah. This next one is not part of the recent run of Iron Maiden picture disc, but it is a gift that was given to me by a really cool guy named Logan in the vinyl community. And this is uh, the Trooper picture disc, which is really, really nice. It just comes in a sleeve here, which actually I, I enjoy because most of the time picture discs, they just come like this with just the, the plastic on it, and I really hate that. I'll take out the picture disc for you guys um, because it is pretty cool. So it's got like uh, a live version of the Chirper, the original version, and Murders in the Rue Morgue, alive in 2005. There you go. Really, really cool. Um, I don't really spend this, but I just keep it for collection because I really do enjoy Iron Man a lot. And um, yeah, it's really nice to look at. What can I say? So yeah, Iron Man, the Trooper picture disc. Mm -hmm. Next up is Peace of Mind. And um, it's got the Obi strip there. Very nice glossy work, and I'm actually going to take out the OB so I can show you the full art on both the gatefolds and the front of the album. So there you go. And here is the back. A lot of really cool pictures to look at there, I think. Um, print inner sleeve with the band sitting at the table and lyrics on the back. Here is uh, the picture disc. I really, really like this one a lot as well. I know I've been saying that a lot for these, but what can I say? I just, I really like picture discs uh, when they're really nice and colorful. I don't like them when they're really plain, you know, or when there's not really a hell of a lot of reason to to make a picture disc for it. But, you know, what can I say? When, when it comes to really good, colorful artwork like this, I really, really enjoy them. Um, this album, I don't know, I gotta tell you guys, I think this album is underrated, you know. And Iron Man, they don't even play any songs from this album live, like, except for The Trooper and maybe Die With Your Roots On. But, you know... Where Eagles Dare, Revelations, The Tame of Land, Sun and Steel, Quest for Fire. I have no idea why Iron Man don't play these songs live. Um, they're really, really good. Okay, uh, next up is Power Slave. An album that's really near and dear to my heart because uh, the first time I ever saw Iron Man live was on the Somewhere Back in Time World Tour. And um, they played a lot of songs from this live. I saw like half of this album live. Which I'm really privileged to say. I mean, I saw a freaking Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner live. I mean, that is huge. Huge for me. I really love that song. Uh, here's the Gatefold. And by the way, I'm actually looking to get the original press of these in the future. I just, you know, not at the moment, but, you know, sometime in the future. I would prefer Japanese presses, especially for this one. This one has a really cool OB in the Japanese press. Um, the only thing is about collecting these on Japanese press, you got to make sure they come with the poster and everything. <clears throat> and all the stuff, having everything complete. Uh, this is the two minutes to midnight artwork. And uh, here is the Ace of Time artwork. Really, really cool stuff. And so yeah... I really love this album a lot. I think this is one of my favorite Iron Man albums. Power Slave, really, really amazing piece of art here. Moving on to, this is the second to last one. Uh, this is Somewhere in Time. And I really, really like this album a lot. I know Bruce Dickinson, I think he didn't make any material on this, which is kind of odd. Because, you know, since he started Iron Man, he had been contributing on a regular basis to the music. 
but he didn't actually contribute to this album, I don't think. Uh, here's the full artwork, really, really insanely good. I adore this artwork a lot. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like there's a lot of little things to look at, so you can just stare at this forever. Here's the other side of it with really cool pictures of the band. And it also comes with the, of course, the printed inner sleeve. And lyrics on the other side. Here's a side A. And I forgot what the artwork to this is, so I'm sorry about that. But I think this one is Stranger. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, this is Wasted Years. That's what it is. And this is a Stranger in a Strange Land, I think. Uh, really, really cool stuff here. So yeah, there you go. Um, really great album. It's got a lot of underrated songs on here as well, so do check this one out. Somewhere in Time by Iron Maiden. Really, really great. <clears throat> Next up is the last one. This is uh, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, which is an album I'm really, really fond of. Um, oddly enough, it doesn't get, you know, mentioned a hell of a lot in, you know, people's favorites of Iron Man, but I really, really love this album a lot. I can tell you guys that right now, that I really love this album. Um, here's the full artwork here. And the uh, other side with a lot of cool pictures of the band. Printed inner sleeve, which I will take out now. And um, the picture disc, finally. Which is a really cool uh, picture disc. So yeah, there you go, you guys. Uh, that is my Iron Maiden picture disc collection. Um, as I said, I will be getting the original presses, you know, in the future. But it's going to take me a while because, as I said, I am looking to get the Japanese presses of them. And, you know, Japanese presses on vinyl are really, really expensive. So it's kind of going to be a journey, really, of... I think many years to come to get them all complete and on Japanese press. Um, but for now, those will suffice, you know, for playing on my turntable, I think. And um, yeah, I will catch all guys all later. Thank you for watching and goodbye.